the reflection that blinked. Mark had never been superstitious. He believed in what he could touch, see, and explain. So, when he told his friends about the odd occurrences with his bathroom mirror, they chalked it up to stress or a trick of light. But Mark knew it was neither. It started one Thursday evening. Mark was preparing for bed, his routine mechanical and thoughtless. As he brushed his teeth, staring into the mirror, he caught it, the first anomaly. His reflection winked at him. He froze, foam still bubbling at the corner of his mouth. It had to be a twitch, he reasoned, rinsing his mouth and avoiding the mirror as he left the bathroom. The next day was uneventful until the evening when the mirror beckoned again. This time, his reflection didn't just wink. It smiled, revealing teeth he wasn't bearing. A shiver ran down his spine as he backed away, but when he returned with his phone to capture this impossibility, the reflection had resumed its mimicry. Mark's weekend spiraled into a series of anxious observations. The reflection moved independently, gesturing silently, its eyes following Mark with an intelligence that should not have been there. The more he watched, the more distinct the changes became. The reflection's clothes were different, its room furnished with bizarre, twisted versions of his belongings. By Monday, he was convinced he was losing his mind. He called in sick at work, unable to face the world with the weight of his paranoia. The reflection's movements grew aggressive, banging against the mirror as if to break through. That night, it spoke. The voice was a distorted echo of Mark's, but the words were lost, muffled by the thick glass. Mark couldn't tear himself away from the mirror, compelled by a mix of fear and fascination. He began to notice the mirror's reality had a darkness to it, an underlying malevolence that seeped through its surface. The reflection's eyes had a hunger, a desperation that belied its intentions. The breaking point came on a night filled with thunder. As lightning illuminated the room, the mirror flickered with images of that other place, a cold, desolate reflection of his home. In a flash of courage, or perhaps madness, Mark reached out to touch the mirror. The glass was ice cold, but his reflection's hand was warm, alive. And then, with a force that winded him, it grabbed him. The world spun, and Mark was suddenly looking out from the mirror. He watched in horror as his reflection stepped out into his apartment, wearing his face with an eerie satisfaction. The reality within the mirror was warped, a grotesque parody of his own life. Mark's screams went unheard as he pounded against the glass. He watched days. Then weeks pass as his reflection lived his life alienating his friends, quitting his job, and turning his apartment into a den of bizarre rituals. Mark was trapped in a limbo, the rules of which he couldn't comprehend. He wandered through the twisted mirror world, searching for an escape, but there were only reflections upon reflections, an endless maze of glass. It was during one of his countless attempts to break free that he noticed the cracks. They had started to form on the other side, tiny fissures that spread whenever his reflection, no, the imposter, experienced anger or frustration. Mark understood then. The emotions were the key. He had to invoke strong enough feelings in the imposter to shatter the mirror. He began to mimic the imposter's movements, but with exaggerated rage and despair. For days he mirrored the imposter, until one day the glass could no longer hold. The mirror shattered from the other side, and Mark fell through the cascade of broken reflections into his apartment. The imposter was gone.
vanished into the fragmented reality it had come from. Mark's hands were bloodied from the glass, but he felt no pain. He was back, and that was all that mattered. He covered every mirror in his house, vowing to avoid his own gaze forever. The broken mirror remained as it was, a jagged portal sealed shut. But sometimes, when the house is silent, Mark swears he can hear whispering, pleading, begging from the other side. And he wonders if the story is truly over, or if it was just the beginning. <laughs>